There it is. Butter stick. Butter stick, three weight, seven foot fly rod is, um, it's about 200 and change, depending on where you get it, what time of the year. It'll be about 200 to 250 bucks, which is a great entry level price point for a rod. Uh, I have this paired up with the Reddington Zero Reel and the Rio Creek line. Uh, I haven't really switched out a line on it, so I've kind of really loved the Rio Creek line on it. Some of the details about this rod. It has a friction locking reel seat with a little bit of an indenture for your reel uh, to really kind of make sure it's in there. It does have some nice Atari theme colors running throughout the rod. It does have some handwritten details in terms of the line and the size. It is a three piece rod. The case is slimmer. It actually doesn't have a sock, so all you get is the case. The guides aren't, are just guides. Nothing to write home about there. I don't think they're titanium or anything, so. So let's hop into the pros and cons of this rod. The pros of this rod are that it's indestructible. Being fiberglass, I have put this through rigorous field testing. I have uh, thrown it on rocks. It pretty much lives fully set up all the time. I don't really break this rod down. As I have a five and a half foot bed in the back of my truck, I'm able to angle it diagonally and I just throw it on top of the gear. So it is very indestructible. I mean, I dri I've driven over three, four hours with it, loosely tossed in the back of my truck and never had a problem with it. Still never had to fix it or do anything like that, knock on wood. It is very lightweight. It's not gonna be the lightest rod out there, but it is lightweight enough to where you're not gonna fatigue yourself throwing a three weight around or a popper like I have on right, right now. It's very easy to cast. Brings me to my next pro. It's super easy to cast. It is a really good rod for beginners to cast a fly rod. The reason being is because you really get to see this rod load with the line weight and it's almost an exaggerated load, right? Because it's so flexy, you really see the whole thing kind of loading and you're able to practice smaller double hauls where you're using your left hand, well, I'm right-handed, so your opposite rod holding hand, I don't know what you'd call that, but you're able to use that to kind of control the loading of the rod and the line speed that you're trying to get. Um, another big pro about this is casting in very tight quarters. Because it's a slow action rod, you can really exaggerate underneath a limb and your fly will get to where you want it to go. It's not gonna fall short if you don't have a hard stop or anything like that. Typically. Uh, you can really exaggerate your cast, which is great for a beginner because they're not going to know how a uh, fly rod loads per se or how to control line speed with your left hand. And slowing all of that down makes it really, really easy. Another pro about this rod is the price point. Because of the price point of this rod, it's really accessible for anybody who is looking to pick up a first rod and start to get into fly fishing. I didn't see a lot on YouTube in terms of fiberglass rods, so I kind of wanted to put this content out there because I really went on a limb when I bought this rod. I kind of just said, screw it, let's get a fiberglass rod and let's see if, uh, if it's going to do me any good. Because I was fishing in North Carolina and North Georgia where the creeks are small and there are a lot of overhanging branches, mangroves, like limbs, uh, just really dense forest uh, on the banks of the creeks. It's really hard. You really got to sit in the middle of the creek and cast to underneath the banks where the fish are hiding, especially in the summer. Uh, and to do that with a fast action rod is very easy to get lost in your cast, where here you can just slow it down and make sure you're not going to hit anything and still able to put the fly where you want. I'm really glad I chose fiberglass for my three weight. To have fished a five weight fiberglass, and I think that at that point, if you're fishing a five weight, you really are fishing bigger water where you're going to want a little bit of a faster line speed and a faster action rod. Uh, because this is a three weight, you really are able to cover a lot of grounds in smaller waters. The cons. The cons to this rod, 
I can only really think of one major con to this rod, and it's the real seat. It has come apart on me in the past. It's not a big deal. It happens even on my more expensive rods with, you know, a total locking real seat. Somehow they get loose and somehow they'll come apart. Here, this one, if you don't really cinch it down, you can easily kind of just um, accidentally, you know, unlock that and it'll... Uh, it has happened to me before, but again, it's happened to me on a lot of different rods too that I've paid a lot more money for, so it doesn't really bother me. I didn't lose a fish because of it. So that's a good one. In conclusion, this rod is a great bang for your buck. If you're looking to get into fly fishing and you don't know where to start, I highly recommend a fiberglass rod or a three weight at the beginning. Uh, casting a smaller rod will allow you to kind of really understand how loading line weight and loading the rod tip, give it, getting that action and putting your fly out there and being able to start to double haul using your left hand for line speed, this rod will facilitate a lot of learning for a lot of new fly fishermen and fisherwomen. I guess at the end of the day, I would love for people to consider fiberglass. This is one of the first rods I put in most people's hands when I'm teaching them how to fly fish because I really see them just waving it back and forth and they're not understanding the pause and I'm able to show them like, do you see how the line pushed the rod back? Uh, this is just a great beginner rod. It really is a lot of fun and because it's fiberglass, doesn't really matter what size fish you're catching, you're still gonna have a great time. The rod's still gonna fold over even if it's a six inch fish and make you feel like you're catching something like a 16 inch fish. Go pick up a fiberglass rod, go have some fun, try something different. Again, I didn't see a whole lot of videos on this so I'm hoping somebody gets a little bit of benefit out of this and uh, I get to practice some video editing and more gear reviews are on the way. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you like this video. I'm always working on my filming. I got a new camera, I got a new mic, so hopefully this production value is increasing. Yeah, just on my content creator journey. So you guys let me know what you think and see you on the water. Cheers.